Hello guys, hello again, today we're work working on ICP, um, this is the first version, the 3D model I think I got it from, um, I can't, I don't recall exactly where, uh, somewhere on Google, but yeah, I don't exactly, but uh, really nice design, it, I 3D printed it in resin, uh, it's, it's just um, like the quality is amazing, the two things I don't like obviously one is my mistake I don't like the black I used that's the s9000 and I think I just uh, applied too many layers on it so it give, gave that shininess that I don't, I don't like but anyhow uh, usually I use these two versions of, of black one is coke this is the darker one 7090 Montana and 1845 which one, this one is um, unshined so uh, this is a lighter one it's more like grayish and uh, i love the texture it gives uh, to the to the panels uh, if you don't over layer it so anyway that was the first problem the second problem is uh, in the light you may see nice light is shining perfectly but when you're looking at the panel, the, the, the writing is very dull, it's not uh, amazing. So what I decided to do, I decided to go my way, the uh, old traditional way. So I laser cut from 5mm acrylic back panel and from 3mm white I cut uh, the top panel. So what I've done, I just 3D printed this top side and this mesh with the knobs to fill center position of the buttons and you know, just to give it uh, more depth. depth. And um, I don't know if you can tell the lighting is not great, but, but this is the first version and this is the second version. First of all, the, the color it's nicer it has like that texture and as well the writing it's uh, the engraving is is very clear which which I love so yeah ah, if you if someone was asking what I use for grace for grace I use these two tones it's 7030 uh, iron cartoon and this one is gravel 7060 so these two tones of gray i usually use them for the for everything else yeah so uh, we just engraved this now i'm gonna start adding uh, buttons the buttons i free printed them i haven't done anything to them they're just straight from the printer they're just drying obviously i still need to test <laughs> if they fit and as well after that i need to decide how i'm gonna do this probably this is this ones i'm just gonna spray paint them and engrave them because uh, i think the the um, uh, buttons they're gonna permanently be lit like the mfds and just i'm gonna do the backlight of the rest of the panel that's gonna be dimmable uh, from the cockpit so uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna pause the video. Now. Okay, guys. So version one, version two. This is uh, well finished. Finished. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it has the button, the knobs on. Uh, we still need to spray, spray paint them uh, gray and engrave them individually. Uh, we're missing the doubler here, but mm, I know people that are actually buying original ones that are they can go up to uh, hundreds of dollars um, which is crazy uh, I'm just gonna use this five-way switch for here and I'm just gonna 3d print the, the extension knob uh, I've done it before it's very accurate it looks great it's reliable so yeah that's about it 
we still me we are, we're missing one button here but otherwise uh, on the back we need to do the boards with the switch with the actual switches uh, I'm gonna try to record the whole thing when I'm not gonna do that but uh, yeah, that's about it and um, let's set it for yeah it's almost there we're missing like a one mil on the top that needs to go in but otherwise uh, otherwise I think it looks pretty good so yeah not bad this is it guys thank you uh, uh, a sub to the channel would be uh, amazing uh, I would be really grateful I, I'm just a small guy you know small shed trying to do some big things yeah I hope uh, you enjoy it. Thank you and have a lovely evening.